Because when I'm behind the camera filming someone, I forget that I'm actually documenting what's happening and I live the moment with them. This is by far the best thing about filming documentaries. I think I was in third grade when my father bought a camera to document some trips for the family. And the moment I looked through the viewfinder, I think that time froze for a second. I was like, wow, this is so cool. At university, I decided to uh, join uh, film school. So it was a very traditional uh, way of going into film. I've worked on a huge list of projects that range from very small documentaries up to short films or TV commercials with the C-series. One of the most exciting things in the film industry at the moment is that you can shoot something on a small camera and it can look very cinematic, it can look very nice. The moment you carry the C300 from the first edition, you feel that this camera is built for camera operators. All the features that we really wanted in the DSLRs, especially the 5D Mark II, were included there, plus all the video expertise from Canon from the XF series were put into it. The C300 Mark I had a very nice dynamic range for video in a small package as well as you can record uh, video for a long time, you can do dual recording, and the camera just fits right in your hand. When the C300 Mark II was released, the first thing that we were super excited about was the 4K. Now the Mark III adds more to those who demand more. Very high dynamic range, 16 plus tops, shooting RAW up to 120 frames per second, having autofocus even while shooting high speed 120 frames per second, the developed ergonomics of how to use the camera, the buttons, and the features to check exposure, including false color. Having the ability to change your mount from EF to PL gives you a huge amount of lenses to choose from. We filmed for almost six or seven months in the Liwa Desert in the Middle East, and it's one of the harshest environment to shoot at during summer. The cameras were still working flawlessly. Since we have a very bright sun in the Middle East, especially in the desert, we really need or require a high amount of ND filters. Most of the cameras now come with built-in ND filters, but usually they come with up to six stops of ND, while the C300 has up to 10 stops of ND filters. Those extra four stops are actually really, really useful. What I love about film is that it takes you away a little bit from reality. You're trying a different experience. You're living in someone else's uh, life, whether it's a documentary or a feature film. And this is, in my, in my opinion, is phenomenal to, to separate yourself a little bit from reality. Thank you.